this video, I'm going to go over one of the last methods we've discussed about solving quadratics. Specifically, I'm going to go over solving by the quadratic formula. So, with this, obviously we're going to need the quadratic formula. That is something that you're going to have to memorize. It's very, very important. If you don't memorize one of the pieces, it kind of just defeats the entire purpose because you can't do it. So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is going to allow us to solve this quadratic equation using this. So the best thing about the quadratic formula is it allows you to solve every single quadratic. It works for all of them. So all of these other methods are good to go and good, but the quadratic formula can solve and essentially covers all possible quadratics you can, you can be given. So some of you might be asking, well, why don't I just use the quadratic formula for all of them then, if it works for all of them? And you could, but the idea is you want to be efficient. You want to move quickly through these problems and not waste your time going through all this. So some problems you could solve real, real quick if you factor or if you graph some of these other strategies. But again, this formula will work for all quadratics. As always, the most important thing we need is we need our quadratic equal to 0. Right now, I have x squared plus 3x equal to 5. This is not currently equal to 0, so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract that 5 from both sides. That way I can get it equal to 0. So that gives me x squared plus 3x minus 5. 5 is equal to 0. x squared plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. Why this is important is this is now in standard form. So we need a, b, and c. So if you recall the standard form of a quadratic, it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So the a is always the coefficient in front of x squared, b is the coefficient in front of x, and c is our constant. So in this problem above, I usually write out what a, b, and c are before I plug into the quadratic formula because it makes it a lot easier. So in this problem, a is the coefficient in front of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient in front of x, which is 3. And c, in this case, is going to be negative 5. So I'm going to work through this and plug all of these different pieces into my quadratic formula. So I'm going to have x equals, I need my negative, and then plug in b. I need my plus or minus next. And then the square root, I'm going to do b squared minus 4ac. So b is... 3, so I'm going to have 3 squared minus 4 times A times C. And all of this is going to be over 2 times A, so 2 times 1. When I work through these problems, I kind of like to work on the inside and work my way out, meaning I like to start inside the square root and I'm going to work my way out and get the other pieces. So that's what I'm going to start with first. So I'm still going to have x equals negative 3, not plus or minus. But inside that square root, I'm going to address these pieces. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do 3 squared. Well, 3 squared is 9, so that's easy. And then I have negative 4 times 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then negative 4 times negative 5 is going to be positive 20. Still over 2a. And 2a, we can handle that really quick. 2 times 1 is 2. So I'm slowly progressing through all my steps so I can get to a simplified solution. 
So next step, still going to keep working on the inside here. So I'm going to have x equals negative 3 plus or minus. I'm going to do 9 plus 29, or sorry, 9 plus 20, which is 29. Still have that dividing by 2. Now what I would like to do is simplify this radical if possible. So I'm looking for, is there any numbers that I can take the square root of that go into 29? So numbers I can take the square root of, again, are like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So I look and see, are there any of these numbers can I divide into 29? What you'll find is I cannot do that, so I cannot simplify the radical. All the ways you would look to try and simplify this equation is you want to look and see, can I take, you know, negative 3 divided by 2? Negative 3 divided by 2, that's going to give you a decimal, so I'm going to leave that alone. And I would look to see, can I take the square root of 29 divided by 2 and simplify that? There's nothing you can do, so this alone will be my answer.